Masters of Creation Opening our heart is the most important step on our ascension path, love brings us into the higher fifth dimensional paradigm. The heart is represented by a beautiful pink and white rose color with a golden center. The first section of the heart has ten petals. Each of these is an initiation of the third dimension. They take the form of qualities that we must overcome. The second section of the heart, which takes us through the fourth dimension, has seven petals or initiations, and these lessons are usually learned more quickly. The fifth dimensional section of the heart has sixteen petals as we open to the higher heart and finally to transcendent love. Working through the heart transcends the ego, love resonates with unity consciousness. Love balances the left brain reasoning then our fifth dimensional personality will emerge being heart centered open the 33 petals of the heart flowing love is an adventure back to source cosmic love is the flow of love of the universe that passes through our physical body go out under the stars and breathe love from all the stars into your heart then send love back to them we are part of them and they are part of us imagine blending with every atom of the universe Move your attention up to the cosmic heart and allow love from there to flow into you down through all your organs, round the ball in your heart center and down into the earth star. Then up from your earth star, round the ball in your heart and up to the stellar gateway again. Your family and love itself is like the most delicate and beautiful of flowers. It requires constant devotion and attention to thrive, and when it thrives, it brings us a joy and fulfillment as great as anything we can ever experience. Do you desire to truly know source? Do you wish to feel the endless and boundless love that your father and mother in heaven have for you? Then embrace the companions of love with whom you journey through eternity, not just in passing, but hold them tight, listen to their breathing, and feel their heart beat against yours. Smell the sweetness of their hair and feel the softness of their skin. Visualization to visit Archangel Chamuel's retreat to open the heart. One. Prepare a space where you can be relaxed and undisturbed. Light a candle if you can. Two. Sit quietly and breathe comfortably with the intention of visiting Archangel Chamuel's retreat. Three. Ground yourself by visualizing roots going from your feet deep into the earth. Four. Ask Archangel Michael to place his deep blue cloak of protection around you. Five. Imagine there is a beautiful pink and white rose in your heart. Six. Breathe gently in and out of your rose and see the thirty-three petals starting to open as you relax. Seven. Ask Archangel Chamuel to touch your heart chakra. You may sense this or feel a glow from your heart. Eight. Ask Archangel Metatron to pour his golden orange light, like glorious sunlight, onto your heart. As the petals absorb the rays. Sense them surrendering any third-dimensional aspects still within you. Nine. Ask Archangel Mary to pour her clear light of pure love over your higher heart and sense these petals opening wide in the transcendent light. Ten. When all the petals of your rose are fully open, be aware of the central core glowing gold. Eleven. Receive a ray of light from the cosmic heart filled with the codes and keys of Source Love. Twelve. Feel yourself being surrounded by Archangel Chamuel's angels as they take you to his retreat. Thirteen. Relax and absorb love. Fourteen. Thank Archangels Chamuel, Metatron, and Mary before opening your eyes. The imagination is a powerful tool that is used for manifestation in all dimensions. See your vision and send a connection out to Jupiter and its ascended consciousness, Jumbe. When we beam the vision we wish to create up to Jumbe, it is blessed by this mighty planetary consciousness. Then it is bounced back to our etheric energy field to be solidified the moment we are ready. When we focus a clear, disciplined mind on our vision, miracles take place immediately. When we enjoy cosmic abundance consciousness, this reflects in our personal prosperity. Archangel Raphael is teaching the principles of abundance and manifestation so that we can stand on our own two feet as masters. We can provide everything for ourselves when our consciousness is attuned. The throat center channel Jupiter energy. 
Put a hand on the throat to activate the flow and breathe the etheric energy of desires from the throat into the stomach to become and attract them. The soul star is a magnificent magenta colored chakra that radiates our divine feminine wisdom. Magenta is a mixture of bright pink and electric blue. The beautiful pink ensures that everything is actioned from the highest and purest intent of the heart, while the electric blue holds the power of manifestation. He soul star is a very powerful chakra. Here are some examples of how it can be used and will be used in the future. To bring something into your life, you can create a vision in your third eye. If you then send this out from your third eye, it is like beaming out your picture with a torch. However, if you raise your energy, bring your vision up to your soul star and project it from here into the etheric, it is infinitely more powerful. Your manifestation beam is activating the molecular structure of your vision. That is potent. This chakra was used in ancient times to build the pyramids and other sacred buildings. Such an intense picture of the final vision was beamed from this chakra that its energy altered the gravitational mass of the stones. They could then be lifted accurately into place. They could then be lifted accurately into place. Specific sound vibrations were used in conjunction with the light from the sun. They could then be lifted accurately into place. Specific sound vibrations were used in conjunction with the light from the soul star chakra to achieve this. You can bring up energy from other chakras to project it more powerfully. For the highest good. An example would be to raise the pink fifth dimensional light of love from your sacral chakra and project it from the soul star to set families free from their emotional bonds. Or you could raise the vibrant orange fifth dimensional light from your navel chakra and pour it onto towns or communities to bring the inhabitants into harmony. Certain musical notes can facilitate this. The soul star chakra is connected to Orion, the cluster of stars that carries the wisdom of the universe. This chakra is such a powerful manifestation tool that its misuse was one of the factors that caused the destruction of Atlantis. Now humanity is once more being entrusted to use it for the highest purpose. It is also linked to Chiron, the wounded healer, and Vesta, the mother of the... Now humanity is once more being entrusted to use it for the highest purpose. It is also linked to Chiron, the wounded healer, and Vesta, the mother of the home. Because of its prior misuse, these star systems are lovingly beaming in. Energy to heal the hearts of all of guilt. The blueprint of golden ascended Atlantis, including the spiritual technology of the Atlanteans, their understanding of nature, their capacity to create joyful flow within cities and their ability to access wisdom from the stars, is held within the soul star of all living beings. When we access this with wisdom, it will enable us to create the golden cities of the future. Visualization to visit the retreat of Archangel Mariel 1. Prepare a space where you can be relaxed and undisturbed. Light a candle if you can. 2. Sit quietly and breathe comfortably with the intention of visiting Archangel Mariel's retreat. 3. Ground yourself by visualizing roots going from your feet deep into the earth. 4. Ask Archangel Michael to place his deep blue cloak of protection around you. 5. Picture your soul star chakra above your head radiating a majestic magenta light. As you focus on it, it becomes electric blue. 6. See Archangel Mariel radiating gloriously above you. 7. He reaches down to touch your soul star and fully activate it. 8. Feel unconditional love flood you, and as you do so, know you are responsible for your planet. 9. Picture within your third eye a place or situation as if it is fully healed. 10. Let this picture now form in your soul star. 11. Beam out this magnificent fifth dimensional picture from your soul star. 12. Ask Archangel Mariel to energize this picture for the highest good of all. 13. Thank Archangel Mariel. The Twelve Subtemples. The twelve sub-temples are run by representatives of the Intergalactic Council. These structures were put in place in 2012 at the cosmic moment and will remain with our planet until the ascension process is complete in 2032. Each reflects the light of the twelve rays. 
Since 2012 the color frequencies of the rays have changed, in some cases only subtly, but in others, colors within the rays have blended to create a higher energy. When you are ready to think constructively and empower yourself to walk your allotted ascension path with open-hearted love, you can ask to visit this temple. The color is deep radiant purple. Ladybirds, also from Orion, bring us happiness and good fortune. If your heart opens at the sight of a rainbow, you draw in a bountiful energy from the universe, enabling a new door to open. Ladybirds bring the Ladybirds, also from Orion, bring us happiness and good fortune. If your heart opens at the sight of a rainbow, you draw in a bountiful energy from the universe, enabling a new door to open. Ladybirds bring the same message. If you smile with pleasure when you see one, your heart opens and you attract something good to you. This is why rainbows and ladybirds are universally loved. The spiritual growth of an insect is identical to that of a person. As soon as a human starts to open their heart and become interested in the welfare of others, they move into the fourth dimension. The Gold Ray of Christ Christ consciousness is an energy of unconditional love. It forms a golden ray of light which can be used by anyone for a number of purposes. It carries love, wisdom, healing, protection and the ability to illuminate anyone or anything with a much higher frequency. When invoked, the gold ray of Christ is drawn at a ninth dimensional frequency from the pool of Christ consciousness held in Sirius and steps down to the level at which it is needed. However it cannot lower its vibration below the fifth dimension, so whenever we receive it, we are bathed in fifth dimensional light. This ray carries unconditional love. This is love that totally accepts the recipient exactly as they are. When we radiate total non-judgment and acceptance, it melts all barriers and self-doubts in the person to whom we are sending this energy. This enables them to see and feel everything from a higher perspective. It also opens their heart center and unlocks their gates to abundance consciousness. Consequently they become more relaxed, generous and giving. When we carry this light within us, we touch people profoundly. It can also be sent to people or places to raise the frequency of any situation and is a wonderful gift to share. The gold ray of Christ is a very protective energy. If we have worked with it in any other lifetime, it will already be within our auric light codes and programmed to protect us totally. If we are using it for the first time, it will soon establish itself within our energy fields with the assistance of Archangel. Christiel. When we have the gold ray of Christ in our aura it takes all the energies in our vicinity into their highest aspect. It will attract high-frequency energy to us and keep our fields in resonance with our higher self. It carries the wisdom of Christ consciousness, which allows us to take decisions from a higher perspective about relationships and circumstances of all kinds. Christ consciousness and the opening of the Earth's heart. Chakra After the fall of Atlantis, the amount of Christ light on Earth diminished dramatically and continued to do so until the Intergalactic Council formed a plan. The great initiate Jesus was sent to Earth on a special mission to raise the level of Christ consciousness on the planet. With great difficulty he did so and at the same time reactivated the gold ray of Christ so that it could pour onto Earth again through the portal created by his ascension. Recently the Christ consciousness inflow has been dramatically increased by the opening of the heart chakra of the planet in Glastonbury, UK. The geometry of the sacred ley lines surrounding Avalon which is an old name for Glastonbury, now resonate in harmony with the fifth dimensional crystalline matrix placed around the planet. This is enabling the illumined beings to establish permanent Christ consciousness on Earth, thus affecting the open-heartedness of all ascending beings. This is the first time this has been achieved since the Golden Age of Atlantis. Instead of being part of an experiment, as it was in Atlantis, Christ consciousness is now a permanent fixture on earth. The Christ light vibrates at the frequency 33. Just saying the word 33 attracts the Christ light to you. If you add another 3, making 333, it intensifies the energy. Each of the 33 cosmic portals that started to open on the planet at the cosmic moment in 2012 carries a level of Christ light plus other individual qualities. As these portals open, 
they are spreading ninth dimensional heart energy through the ley lines and the ethers, establishing the fifth dimensional planetary. Merkaba. In some places the heart energy, which desires freedom, love and equality, has opened people up more quickly than the political system of their country allows. This has sometimes led to conflict with the existing way of being. It has forced brave souls to face difficult initiations, but will ultimately allow the Christ light to flow there more freely. In other places on the planet, the establishment of Christ light is a far gentler process and is working in harmony with the Divine Ascension plan. Many people are increasingly aware of orbs and other energies appearing in their photographs and this has drawn our attention to the fact that any soul who has ever incarnated on earth is accompanied by an angel or by the gold ray of Christ. The reason for this is that once you have had experienced earth in a physical body you feel compassion for others. Because of this, as you travel in your spirit body, you may try to help someone on earth and thus prevent them from learning their lessons. This applies even to the greatest masters. So an angel or the gold ray of Christ is sent with all spirits to ensure they do not interfere in anyone's karma. Invocation to the gold ray of Christ to invoke the gold ray, say. I now invoke the gold ray of Christ for my complete illumination and protection. Repeat three times. Visualization to send a ball of Christ light one. Prepare for meditation by relaxing and grounding yourself. The gold ray of Christ will protect your aura. 2. Invoke Archangel Christiel and Master Sananda. Ask them to access the highest level of the gold ray of Christ for you. 3. Visualize this glowing pure gold frequency pour down from the ninth dimensional pool of the gold ray of Christ. 4. Feel it come down through your monad and gently filter through your higher soul body, illuminating it with pure unconditional love. 5. The gold ray of Christ now enters your stellar gateway, opening and activating it fully. It flows down through your soul star, your causal chakra, your crown, your third eye, your throat and your heart. Here it rests. The gold ray of Christ now enters your stellar gateway, opening and activating it fully. It flows down through The gold ray of Christ now enters your stellar gateway, opening and activating it fully. It flows down through your soul star, your causal chakra, your crown, your third eye, your throat, and your heart. Here it rests momentarily. 6. Feel it expand until the 33 petals of your heart are fully open. 7. It then streams down through your solar plexus, navel, sacral, and base chakras and finally into your earth star below your feet. Your 12 chakra system is now open glowing and flooded with pure Christ light. 8. Hold your hands in front of you, palms facing each other. 9. Visualize the gold ray of Christ flowing from your open heart, down your arms and out of your hands. 10. The energy starts to form a ball. Pour more energy into this, expanding the width of your arms and hands, until the ball is as large and powerful as you wish it to be. 11. Release it with love and intention and send it to a situation, person, or animal that you wish to bless. 12. See Archangel Christiel carry the ball of the gold ray of Christ away and place it gently upon your intended spot. 13. Open your eyes and know that you have sent out a beautiful and powerful blessing. Know that you are loved and protected at all times and carry the Christ light. Within your four-body system, Aura and Merkaba realize that they have access to a flow of higher knowledge. Close your eyes now and heighten your other senses. Hear the breathing of the person next to you and feel the warmth of their body. Now become aware of your personal Aura, your sacred Ian. Feel it inside of you and surrounding you. Feel its movement through you and around you. Now become aware of the Aura of the people on either side of you. Feel their Ian and Letty our Ian beat in one resonance and harmony with theirs. Now let the circle become united, one orm melded in harmony to the next and that melded in harmony to the one beside it and so on, until all within this circle are of one harmony of Celestine light. Now that we are one light, we cannot be overcome by the darkness. Therefore, 
Open your spiritual eyes and the fullness of your aura that you might see and feel. Among the greatest of the gifts of the spirit when in confrontation with men of the world is the power of illusion, which is easily projected by your thoughts and aura upon the impressionable thoughts of the weak-minded and those with little light. Such as these have no defense against that which they do not know, for how may a city be defended when its citizens do not realize they are under attack? Crystal skulls have once again become tools and are becoming popular as people tune into these higher frequencies. A crystal skull fashioned by a craftsman is a companion, a record keeper and a valuable asset for many souls on the spiritual path. Many use them to tune into the ancient energies available to assist them in remembering who they truly are. Programming Crystals All crystals and crystal skulls are programmable. A piece of simple quartz is capable of holding a vast amount of information. Archangel Metatron used to direct the crystal technologies of Atlantis and is once again assisting with this process. His energy can illuminate, activate and guide anyone wishing to enhance their crystal connections. Exercise to program a crystal or crystal skull 1. Start with a piece of clear quartz. Because of its clear and neutral vibration it is the easiest and clearest crystal to program. 2. Cleanse your crystal under running water. Leave it out in sunlight or moonlight and surround it with the cosmic diamond violet flame. 3. Connect with the deva of your crystal. All crystals have an elemental being that looks after their frequency. Ask the Deva to activate your crystal for programming. 4. Invoke Archangel Metatron and ask him to fill your crystal with pure ascension light. This will enhance its power massively and connect you more closely to it. 5. Ask Archangel Metatron to place any other specific energies he wishes to into the crystal. 6. Pick a favorite meditation that you use regularly. 7. Hold your crystal in your right hand and set your intention to program it. 8. Say your meditation aloud as you normally would. 9. When you have finished, ask the David to place this information into your crystal as an active recording. State that you wish to access this regularly. 10. Ask Archangel Metatron to place his energy around the crystal to enhance and protect your information. 11. Your crystal is now programmed and you can activate it whenever you wish. This is quick, easy, and convenient. 12. Remember to cleanse your crystal regularly, especially if you carry it with you. 13. Thank the crystal, the Deva, and Archangel Metatron for their service. The Instant Sun. Here is another powerful ascension activation and a tool to keep your energies clear. The instant sun is pure etheric fire that burns away any dross in your energy fields. It is extremely powerful and versatile and is perfect for keeping your own individual frequency pure and clear, particularly if the vibrations round you are mixed. If you choose to activate it, you can make it large or small as appropriate and it will remain in place until it is turned off or collapsed. It can be expanded as far beyond yourself as you wish. You can even use it to encompass the planet. Thoth was particularly adept with energetic tools and their application and the great Atlantean master Vaslu gifted the instant sun to him. It is a Chuck Robust energetic installment or device that is used around a person or an object. As its name suggests, it is sun or Helios energy that, when activated, creates a ninth dimensional ball of light frequency around the activator. This technology is a gift and will only be dispensed to those who intend to use it for the purposes of assisting themselves and the development of the planet. Masters Vuslu and Thoth are presenting this to you now, as you are one of those who has accepted the responsibility to do your part to help the world to ascend. As the new Golden Age dawns, the spiritual gifts we enjoyed in Golden Atlantis are all being returned to those of us who are responsible enough to use them. During that golden era there was a multitude of tools available to the priesthood to keep their personal frequencies and that of their surrounding areas pure and clear. Homes, temples, land, water and food were kept at a sparkling fifth dimensional vibration by the continual vigilance of the priests. Everyone benefited from this for a period of 1,500 years, 
until the Atlantis experiment devolved for the final time. Now, the frequency and collective consciousness of the light worker team has risen to the point where the tools can be returned to us. The high priests Vuslu and Thoth, along with Archangel Metatron, will install the instant sun directly into your solar plexus and then activate it for you for the first time. After that you will be expected to use this tool with the wisdom and responsibility of a walking master. Once activated, the instant sun encompasses your energy field, burning away any frequencies that you wish to change or find undesirable. This can include cords and attachments, other people's energies and karma, energetic implants, entities or anything else functioning from a source of polarity. Once you feel clear, the instant sun can then be collapsed upon command and will shrink to a tiny nucleus containing the energies that you have now removed. Archangel Uriel and the unicorns will then transmute the dense energy into higher light. Whilst the instant sun is collapsing, you can ask it to draw in the fresh higher energy that you now wish to have in your fields. You must be very clear about the new that you wish to attract, as thoughts manifest very quickly now. Here is an example of how it works. Imagine you have a shed in your garden that is full of cobwebs and old junk. When you call in the instant sun, it forms a ball of light over the shed and Vuslu, Thoth, and Archangel Metatron activate it. The frequency becomes so high that all the dirt is swept up into a tiny ball, then illuminated and transmuted by Archangel Uriel and the unicorns into pure light. Then you fill the shed with the shiny new tools that you require. This is a visualization to receive the instant sun and to learn how to use it for yourself. Visualization to receive the instant sun 1. Prepare a space where you can be relaxed and undisturbed. Light a candle if you can. 2. Sit quietly and breathe comfortably with the intention of receiving and working with the instant Sunday 3. Ground yourself by visualizing roots going from your feet deep into the earth. 4. Ask Archangel Michael to place his deep blue cloak of protection around you. 5. Visualize your 12 chakra system lighting up and activating at a fifth dimensional frequency. Your stellar gateway, glowing bright gold your soul star, glowing bright magenta your causal chakra, shining like the moon your crown, glowing crystal gold. Your third eye, crystal clear but shining with a clear emerald light. Your throat, royal blue. Your heart, pure white with soft pink touches your solar plexus, pure gold your navel, radiant orange your sacral, the softest pink your base, shining, swirling platinum your cobalt gray earth star 6. As they all glow with your mastery and magnificence, intend them to become a unified column of light stretching up to the core of Helios, the great central sun, and down to be anchored into the core of hollow earth. Visualize this. 7. Invoke the presence of the great Lord Vuslu and the mighty Thoth. Sense them join you as you sit quietly radiating your ascended frequency. 8. Say, either aloud or mentally. I now gratefully accept my gift of the instant Sunday 9. Lord Vuslu now places a bright golden ball in your solar plexus chakra, gently smoothing the energy into place. Feel it vibrating and glowing. 10. Your instant sun is now ready to be activated. Say aloud or mentally. Instant Sun, activate. 11. From your solar plexus a bright ball of sun energy spreads around your body, aura, and fields. You are glowing with powerful light. 12. Feel it burning away any emotions, energies, cords and attachments or anything else that you wish to replace with a higher light. 13. Feel the new, higher, energy rushing in to replace the old. 14. The instant sun is now in place around your energy fields. Expand it as far as you wish. Visualize with love. Relaxed thoughts allow the brain to visualize at a deeper level of mind, a relaxed brain spur the imagination. Love energy plays an important part in harmonizing the two halves of the brain, relax and visualize with love. See, feel, hear, taste, and touch love. Put a hand on your chest and center your desires in your heart. Imagine your heart energy, your desires expanding all around you then you will attract what you want.
we can call call forth anything our heart desire. With love energies anything is possible. The brain and emotions become clear and calm. When we command our thoughts to enter into love a sleep-like state our awareness enters into a subconscious mind. As we center on love our thoughts relax, our awareness have more love energy which activate other levels of the mind. A subconscious levels that have a different set of sensing faculties, we then see things differently. As we relax our thoughts we become acquainted with more sensing faculties. When we relax we use more of our mind. Relaxed thoughts tap into a higher intelligence. The mind generates electricity the ideal circuit is the one with the least resistance, because it makes the greatest use of its electrical energy. The brain works more effectively too if its resistance were lowered. The sleep command quiet the mind. The brain become more energetic when it is less active. At lower frequencies the brain receive and stored more information. Psychics keep the mind at a low frequency which are associated with daydreaming and sleep. Our spirit originate in a relaxed state of mind. A relaxed frequency link us within the mind of the stars and the central sun. In the beginning was the word. Every word is accompanied by etheric energy it is the etheric energy in words as we breathe in that forms our emotions. Focus in the imagination in meditation as you fall asleep to interact with creation. Project desires on the imagination to co-create reality. Breathe in moonlight to raise your vibration and illuminate our wisdom. Moonlight reflect the divine feminine a positive feminine energy of the great central sun to help us in awakening our energy centers. Close your eyes and breathe in moonlight and breathe out light. Breathe in with your nose. Use your diaphragm to breathe. Christ light is illuminated energy breathe light into the heart to illuminate the mind. Put a hand on the heart and recapture a relaxed feelings to go into a deeper level of awareness. The correct way to breathe is to breathe into the belly, use your diaphragm the big muscle in front of our stomach. Breathe without moving your upper body. And breathe gently. As you breathe, focus the energy into the imagination the small area between your eyebrows. You can place a hand on it to feel it more intensely. Focus on that small point. Energy follows thoughts, by focusing on your imagination, you direct life force into that area. Visualize energy moving into your imagination to charge it, to cleanse and heal it, with each breath in. Practice this throughout the day to expand awareness. Thoughts have a tendency to return when they are chased, so just relax. Breathe in the energy in positive moonlight. The only thing that concerns you is moonlight. Focus on love, a word, or memory that triggers positive energy. Focus on directing energy into the imagination. Along with steady and gentle growth, energy amounts increase a lot inside the imagination. Focus on directing love energy to and from your imagination. In your abdomen, there's an energy center called a tantien. The energy in what you imagine as you breathe in comes here into the gut which cause the attraction into our life. Place both your hands on this area and focus on it. Just keep this intention in mind. Next, ground yourself, by placing both hands flat on the bed as you sleep. Visualize energetic roots going from your hands and feet into the ground, and intend all unwanted, dirty energy to leave your body into the ground. Continue this process throughout your life. Grounding is a technique we need to keep in mind. Continue this exercise or any other exercise that helps you open your third eye, finishing with centering and grounding, to proceed into practical clairvoyant work. Spiritual energy also spelled chi, ki, ka, or chi which means life force. It can also mean breath and air, and by extension it also means vitality. Hence, the term spiritual energy may be translated as breathing exercise as well as energy work. Nature of God the true nature of God as well as the Trinity. Our Father, Mother, and Son from Heaven, is the light that sustain the universe, imagine this light coming down into you, be this light from Heaven, from God our Father and our Mother the Holy Spirit. In the beginning was a sea of Spirit. Everything God imagined was created by Spirit. The Holy Spirit dwell within their first begotten Son, Jesus the Messiah. These three are the Source, Father, Son, and Spirit. 
God in heaven is our Father. Be filled with God's light. Call on the light, be full of light, surround your loved ones in the light. The light has consciousness. With each breath you take breathe in the light and pray to it. Remove attachment from your aura, your aura is your light. Remove attachment from the aura and of your loved ones. Just pull those cords out of your auras. Take a bath in salt water and sprinkle salt throughout your home to cleanse your auras. The sea create the atmosphere around us which create our experiences. Ask a request of the sea and it will be given to you. Imagine breathing in desires from the ocean to fill your aura with a desire and the atmosphere around yourselves. The celestine light of the source issues forth from the father and the mother through Jesus, for so they have decreed, and shines into the darkness of the world, and the darkness could not overcome it. The rays of the celestine light of Jesus the Messiah bridges the dark void between God and man. From the beginning of creation, all who humbly sought the truth and lived in ways pleasing to God and had faith in the greater power and majesty of God received a portion of their celestine light to guide and uplift them according to their faith and goodness. One day as a teenager Jesus taught, to come closer to God and to discover the God within, face the sun as it rises each day, the new day's sun gives energy directly from God through the eyes and skin and into the heart. For when the day begins in contemplation with the warmth and light of the sun filling the body, the thoughts and actions of are of peace and harmony and more called to the light of source throughout the day. Remaining within the space where you are standing, close your eyes and stand comfortably with your arms held loosely at your side, with your palms facing the sun. Now breathing as you desire, begin to move any part of your body as little or as much as you desire in ways that your spirit calls upon you to commune with the energy of all living things. Take all thoughts of worldly things from your mind and think only of the unconditional love that the nobility of your spirit is giving. So too have I come to feel my heart beat as one with the earth and all of nature and come closer to my Father and Mother in heaven and to all men and women and children upon the earth. Jesus asked all of his family to remove their sandals so their feet stood upon the bare ground and to hold their arms outstretched to their side to measure how far to stand apart from one another, then to relax, standing with their arms hanging comfortably at their side. Do these movements and contemplation facing the sun as it rises each day, saying the new day's sun gives energy directly from God through the eyes and skin and into the heart of human. Thus have I found it to be. For when the day begins in contemplation with the warmth and light of the sun filling the body, the thoughts and actions of human are of peace and harmony and more called to the light of source throughout the day. Then Jesus asked each of his family to stand comfortably, facing the rising sun with their palms together and their fingers pointing up, and to position their hands thus joined against their chest, near their heart, then to close their eyes and to slightly bow their head. And this he said was the prayer position. Next, Jesus said unto them, Take a deep comfortable breath through your nose and push it out slowly and deeply and thoroughly through your mouth. Throughout the contemplative meditations, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, as deeply as you can in gentle comfort and as often as you need. Upon the next breaths, contemplate the Father, that is God and the good and responsible energy of the male that is within you. Upon the next breaths, contemplate the Mother that is God and the good and nurturing energy of the female that is within you. Upon the next breaths, contemplate the sun, that is God and the good and playful energy of the child that is within you. As you continue to thus breathe, consider how Source has made the heavens and the earth and you and all the people of the world upon it. Let your spirit feel the connection of the Creator running through you and through the earth and through the sun and all the heavens. Reach out with your spirit and feel the spirits of the people beside you. While in this contemplation and expansion of your spirit and while continuing to breathe comfortably and deeply, raise your head to a level position and lift your hands in unison until your arms are outstretched above your head, with your open palms facing the rising sun, your fingers wide open, and your thumbs and forefingers touching, forming the triangle of the trinity of source. While in the same contemplation and expansion of your spirit, exhale slowly and deeply. Then with your arms and fingers raised up and outstretched and your open palms facing the sun, 
separate your hands and smoothly rotate your arms down in opposite directions, until your arms are outstretched at your waist level, with your palms still facing the sun. As your arms are descending, open your eyes for a long blink and gaze upon the fiery orb of the sun and contemplate the physical light of God, which shines forth upon the earth and gives life to all things. With closed eyes and movements close to the body, return your hands to the prayer position. All of this is called welcome to light. Repeat it two more times if you desire. And thus did Jesus and all of his family. Then Jesus showed them the second contemplative movement, which he called the bridge of light in which they should feel the energy of earth and all living things upon it, flowing through them and the power of God coming from the heavens through them, to benefit all the world. At the beginning of the bridge of light, Jesus asked his family to each say aloud the words he would tell them, if they felt them to be true in their hearts. And thus spoke Jesus, I covenant to keep the temple of my body pure inside and out and to faithfully live the light of source that I might always be a worthy vessel to be a bridge between heaven and earth. Then Jesus said unto them, Stand now relaxed, with your arms low at your sides, your open palms facing the sun, and spread your feet in a comfortable way, about the distance of your shoulders. Take a deep breath and slowly raise your arms to shoulder height, fully extended to each side, with palms facing the sun and fingers spread apart. Hold this position as you slowly and thoroughly exhale. As you take in another deep breath, bring your outstretched arms in front of you until your extended fingers are again in the Trinity Triangle, with palms facing the sun and the sun framed within the triangle. Then exhale a slow, thorough, and gentle breath. Hold that position and look through slightly parted eyelids at the sun. Breathe several calm and normal breaths through your nose and expand the boundaries of your spirit through earth and connect with all living things, feel the wetness of the oceans and lakes and the coolness of the forests. Smell the salt in the air by the sea and fields of wild flowers, feel the cold of the snow upon the mountain tops and the sand moving between your toes on a warm beach, hear children laughing and the music of creeks flowing over rocks. Connect your spirit to earth and all that is upon it. Be one with earth and all life that is upon it. Now take a deep breath through your nose and, holding the Trinity Triangle, thrust the triangle up toward the heavens and exhale. Then take a big breath and exhale slowly as you lower the triangle down toward the ground, bending over at the waist and with knees gently bent as far as necessary to touch your hands or at least your fingertips to the ground, holding the Trinity Triangle. As the triangle descends from the apex to the ground, in your mind, call upon all the life. Force of the earth and all living things upon it to touch your hands and swirl within the triangle of the trinity. Continuing to hold the trinity triangle, take a deep breath and bring your hands up along your legs with palms facing your body, pulling your connections to all the life forces upon the earth up through your body. Your greatest point of incoming breath is near the area of your heart. At this spot, move your palms forward so they are facing the sun while still holding the Trinity Triangle. Now quickly push your hands upward while forcefully and fully exhaling, ending with your hands in the Trinity Triangle, facing upward toward the sky. Now lower your arms in front of you until you are again looking at the sun framed within the triangle. Hold this position and breathe normal easy breaths. Send your spirit forth to Source bringing with it all of the spiritual connections you have made to all the life of the earth and ask Source to bless all the earth with goodness and light. Then, with words in your mind and feelings in your heart, ask Source to use you as a worthy vessel, feel the power of God swirling in your hands between the triangle of the Trinity, coursing up through your arms and swirling through your body. Filling your heart and expanding your mind so much so that the light of Source is radiating from you. Repeat this contemplative meditation movement two more times if you desire, beginning at this position. As you move your hands back toward the earth with love and humility, send the power of Source whose spirit dwells within your heart, back through you, and into the earth and unto all living things upon it that for a moment in time, they might feel the exquisite joy of the celestine light of Source. After this last contemplation, there was much complaining from many of the family of Jesus for the movements were awkward to them and not in the ways they were accustomed to move and hold their bodies. 
And Jesus said unto them, It was also difficult for me in the beginning, for so much was I caught up in the unfamiliar movements and breathing that I was not able to benefit as much in my spirit as I was after several more days of effort, when the movements and the breathing had become easy. Each contemplative meditation movement can be done just once if it is easier for you, and you can still gain many good things. But take heed to not dismiss these things because of their difficulty on your first attempts or because of the strangeness from the teachings and traditions which you know. For I say unto you that they work greatly to balance your spirit and the powers of your body and mind. They help you to begin your day in harmony with God in rhythm with the earth and connected in peace and oneness to all life. These contemplations are good for the soul and of benefit to human during all of his day. Then Jesus showed them the third contemplative movement, which he called, the wind of love. And he said unto them, The ills of the world, wars, plagues, famines, pestilences, disease and all other things, that haunt human and make this sojourn on earth a trial come because of his lack of love. Because humans does not love God, they does not have the Spirit of God to inspire them to do good or the Celestine Light of Source to guide T. Hem and help T. H. E. M. in T. his life. Therefore, he inherits the opposite of the Light, which is darkness. Therefore, it is the purpose of this contemplative meditation movement to reach out your spirit to all living things and to send your love and thanksgiving to them with the essence of your spirit. Whereas before everyone moved in unison, during most of the wind of love, each will move as their spirit guides them, which may be different every time you do the contemplation. Because each person's spirit and the way it communes with others is unique to them and to that moment in time. Remaining within the space where you are standing, close your eyes and stand comfortably with your arms held loosely at your side, with your palms facing the sun. Now breathing as you desire, begin to move any part of your body as little or as much as you desire in ways that your spirit calls upon you to commune with the energy of all living things. Begin by reaching out with your mind and your heart to send the essence of your spirit to touch the essence of the spirit of the person next to you and then the person beyond them and then beyond them. Touch no one with your body, but touch everyone with your spirit. Nor should you make any sounds other than the quiet sounds of your movements and your breathing. Take all thoughts of worldly things from your mind and think only of the unconditional love that the nobility of your spirit is giving to the nobility of the spirit of the person next to you, with thankfulness for the good things they bring to your life. Then do likewise with the person beyond them and then all of the people in this town and then in this land and then in the lands beyond, even to lands you have never known and people you cannot even imagine. Now think of the animals that are kept by man and known to you, being in or near your home and send them your spirit of unconditional love and thanksgiving for the good things they bring to your life. Then expand your spirit to touch all of the animals kept by man in this land and then to all those in nearby lands and then to all in the world. Return again to the spot where you move as your spirit directs and think of all of the wild animals that dwell here. Send your love to them for the grace and beauty they bring to man and balance to the earth and for the many lessons they teach. Now send your love beyond this land toll the lands of the earth and to all the wild beasts that roam those lands, even those you know not and cannot imagine. Return again to the spot where you move with a free spirit upon the earth, sending out your essence of love and receiving love from all who send it to you. Now send your spirit of love into the seas and the fishes, many which give their lives to feed the multitudes. Swim with them in your mind and spirit and be one with them. Return again to the spot where you move freely. Now send your spirit of love out to the birds in the sky, fly with them and see the world from above through their eyes, and feel the lightness of your spirit as you move effortlessly through the air. Return again to the spot where you move in harmony with your spirit. Now send your essence of love and thanksgiving to all men and women and children upon the earth, for they are your brothers and sisters, though they know it not. Return again to the spot where you move in joy and send love and thanksgiving unto every plant and tree and crop that nourishes both man and beast, gives beauty to the eye, shelter from the storm, and warmth on nights of cold. Now stand as one, facing the sun with arms outstretched from your sides, and hands intertwined in the hands of those beside you.
Breathe in and push out deeply for three breaths as you sense and feel and see in your mind the essences of your souls united, radiating out from every part of your body and spreading across this spot, across this town, across this land, and across the world with the marvelous light of love. After three breaths, return to the prayer position, take one more deep breath and push out, then open your eyes and turn to the people around you and greet them with Namaste. Jesus continued to do the contemplative meditation movements most of the days of his life as the sun crested the horizon each morning. But even among his family, most were not inclined to continue that which he taught that day, nor among many who later came to follow him, for he did not teach it as a commandment of God. But in the days to come, there were those who heeded that which he showed, and the secret of the contemplative meditation movements went forth into the world. The Forces That Regulate Nature The forces that regulate nature and the cosmos are the same forces that regulate our bodies and minds while we recognize and deal with two circulatory networks in the human body the nerves and the blood vessels. Spiritual energy includes a third system, the energy network of the meridians. These are the pathways through which life force energy flows in the body and on which the acupuncture points are located. Collectively, the meridians and an invisible but highly functional network of channels that forms a complex grid throughout the human body. This grid serves as a sort of master template for both the circulatory and nervous systems and for all the other vital organs and their functions. Meridians are translated as Jing and are categorized in relation to the 12 vital organs in medicine. Flowing through the body and brain like large rivers and small tributaries, these meridians create an intricate web of smaller vessels which transmit energy to every tissue and cell of the body. Located along the Jing Luo or meridian lines are points along the channel that are terminals known as Shui or vital points. These serve as relay stations through which energies along the related channels may be amplified or pacified by means of the imagination, acupuncture, moxibustion, acupressure, or massage. Think of the meridian system like rivers of energy moving through and nourishing all aspects of the body. Energy can become blocked or stagnant, like a boulder in a river. This usually occurs from stress, repetitive motion, pollution, injury, or negative emotions. Keeping the energy flowing within our bodies is the key to optimal health and wellness. Energy commands blood, where energy goes, blood follows, which means that the decisive factor in the circulation of blood to the organs and tissues is the free flow of energy to those areas via the network of energy channels and points. The points are like whirlpools within a river, which can affect the entire flow of the body as they are consciously redirected. The nervous system responds so well to spiritual energy and acupuncture treatment because these methods stimulate the flow of energy through the meridians, which in turn balances the nervous system and permits the nerves to function properly. Cultivation refers to the methods that draw energy from external sources into the system, through vital energy gates on the body. The points Most often used for this purpose are the points on the solace of the feet, the points on the palms of the hands the point on the crown of the head, the point at the perineum, and the point at the heart. Cultivating energy with this method requires one-pointed mental focus on the energy gates selected for practice, the visualization of energy as light flowing through the points, and the intention to draw energy in through the gates. Energy usually enters the system on the inhalation phase of the breath and circulates or spirals at these centers on the exhalation. For example, Practicing energy exchange on the beach or high up in the mountains quickly recharges the whole system with the pure, potent energy generated by oceans and mountains. Practicing in a forest allows one to exchange energy with trees, which produce very powerful energy. The human body is considered to be a network of energy and information that mirrors the energy network of the whole universe. As above, so below is an ancient maxim that describes this concept. In this way of thinking, the human body is a microcosmic replica of the macrocosmic universe at large complete with its own heaven and earth, its internal emotional weather and organ ecosystems, its rivers of blood and mountains of flesh, its mineral ores of bone and its saline oceans of cellular fluids. Spiritual energy helps the microcosmic human body to recharge and renew itself by plugging into the macrocosmic energy of the universe.
Each cell, tissue, organ, and other part of the body emanates its own specific electromagnetic field, which pulsates at its own particular frequency and regulates its own internal energy currents, while the entire body itself radiates an auric energy. Field that extends about one meter around the surface. Spiritual spiritual energy enhances compassionate, virtuous energy to support a life of love and kindness. It is usually practiced in meditation, with the practitioner sitting still and using the mind to move and circulate internal energy. This is a process of internal alchemy, whereby energy is transformed into a higher and more refined vibration. In this practice, practitioners also often draw energy from the universe into the body. This cultivates a sense of unity with nature, with the Tao, and with each other. The microcosmic orbit is a spiritual spiritual energy practice that opens the body and meridian pathways, governor and functional channels, to cultivate higher frequencies of energy. By bringing energy through these particular channels, the practitioner distills energy from the lower centers to the higher centers. Expanding consciousness and spiritual awareness. It's difficult to discern, sometimes, a single category for a specific spiritual energy exercise. For example, the microcosmic orbit could be used for medical and health purposes as well as for spiritual purposes. As energy opens in the body, it's natural for physical vitality to increase along with spiritual insight. Balancing the body and the mind In spiritual energy, balance of the body is through relaxation. To relax, the practitioner performs a series of stretch and loosening exercises that eliminate tension from the muscles, joints, and tissues. Total relaxation of the body is a prerequisite for maintaining proper posture, freely circulating blood and energy, breathing correctly, and establishing a stable sense of mental quietude. Conversely, any tension in the muscles and tendons, or tightness in the joints, tends to throw the body off balance, obstruct circulation, inhibit deep abdominal breathing, and distract the mind. With practice, as the body becomes progressively more relaxed, the autonomic nervous system switches over to the calming, restorative, parasympathetic branch, which balances the endocrine system and activates the body's internal healing mechanisms. Balancing the mind is one of the most challenging aspects of spiritual practice and meditation. Spiritual energy seduces the mind into stillness with its slow rhythmic movements and circulation of energy. As the energy or frequency in the body increases, so too does the one-pointed awareness in the mind. Your intention. Ye is the power of your mind to circulate energy, heal your body, and connect to the energies of the universe. Spiritual energy is based on the premise that the human body is an energy system, its 50 trillion cells all require energy to maintain their function, and that energy needs to flow continuously and smoothly. Regular practice of spiritual energy facilitates the smooth flow of energy throughout the human organism. To function in this healing mode, the cerebral cortex, where the constant chatter of the internal dialogue arises, must be stilled. EEG studies show that in people practicing spiritual energy, the cerebral cortex enters a state of calm and quiet that very few people experience even in sleep. We have all been told that most people only use 5 to 10 percent of their brains. What this really implies is that the average person uses only 5 to 10 percent of his or her 15 billion brain cells. No wonder that so many people's immune systems fail to respond appropriately to harmful stimuli. However, an EEG study done in 1996 showed that spiritual energy activates the other 90 percent of the human brain. It suffuses even the deepest layers of the cerebrum with stimulating bioelectric currents. These currents activate long dormant function and cause measurable electrical excitation of the brain cells that previously showed no activity. So, in a sense, spiritual energy allows the practitioner to tap into more of his or her brain's potential. Maybe this explains how spiritual energy masters can accomplish amazing feats or connect to an unimaginable source of universal information. Numerous studies show that practicing spiritual energy increases the level of essential neurotransmitters in the blood, brain, and cerebrospinal fluid particularly norepinephrine, acetylcholine, serotonin, and dopamine.
Blood tests show that spiritual energy can also increase the production of T-cells in the thymus gland, another pillar of human immune response. 30 minutes of spiritual energy shows an increase in red blood cell count, which enhances the bloodstream's capacity to carry and deliver oxygen to the cells and improves. Immune Response Spiritual energy masters have touted the power of laughter and smiling for thousands of years. They say it elicits a powerful healing energy within the body and transforms sick or old energy back into positive, healing energy. Respiratory System Breathing can be both conscious and unconscious. Most of the time, we don't think about how we are breathing. Therefore, our breathing patterns are determined by various internal and external energy factors, such as thoughts and emotions, tension and stress, weather and environment. In this unconscious mode of breathing, energy is not regulated and balanced by breath, instead, it takes on emotional patterns and becomes shallow with a busy and stressful. Lifestyle Spiritual energy increases vitality through the lungs and respiratory system by relaxing the body, lowering the metabolic rate, and quieting the mind. High levels of stress constrict the chest and muscles in the upper body, creating the tendency to breathe rapidly. Spiritual energy decreases the average resting respiratory rate by emphasizing a more efficient and deeper way to breathe using the abdomen, diaphragm, and rib cage. This method of breathing is called Tan Tian breathing, energy belt breathing, or simply deep abdominal breathing. A study on deep breathing revealed that after 15 minutes of practice, the average volume of air taken into the lungs on inhalation rose from 482 ml before practice to 740 ml afterward, while the average number of breaths per minute dropped from 15 down to only 5. This represents a huge improvement in respiratory efficiency. These benefits are due to the important role that the diaphragm plays in breath control. Spiritual energy, which engages the diaphragm as a pump to regulate breath and circulation, strengthens this powerful muscle and restores its natural role in breathing, resulting in accumulative improvement in respiratory efficiency the longer spiritual energy is practiced. For example, a recent study in energy demonstrated that after only two months of daily practice, the average flex of the diaphragm, which is only about 1 inch, 3 centimeters, in people who do not practice diaphragmatic breathing, rose to between 2 one half and 3 one half inches, 6 to 9 cm, dash a 2 to 3 fold increase. Deep breathing, is important than ever before. 200 years ago, the air we breathed contained 38% oxygen and only 1% carbon dioxide. Today, Due to factors such as deforestation, burning fossil fuels, and industrial pollution, the level of oxygen in the air has dropped by half to only 19%, while the carbon dioxide level has risen to a dizzying 25% spiritual energy trains practitioners to become more efficient. Breathers, drawing in more oxygen with less effort. The deep breathing and the long, Rhythmic extensions of the limbs and torso performed in moving spiritual energy exercises also stimulate the movement of lymph throughout the body. Since lymph helps purify the blood and intercellular fluids, spiritual energy exercises promote detoxification of the entire body, right down to the individual cells. Digestive System Spiritual energy is a fantastic way to support digestion, improving everything from weight loss to IBS from constipation to ulcers. Spiritual energy brings healing energy to all the internal organs and helps to create balance and harmony throughout the digestive tract. Anyone who has been in a universal Tao workshop knows that. Yawning and moving wind are common occurrences with spiritual energy exercises and meditations like the six healing sounds. People spend millions of dollars on digestive drugs to help ease indigestion or alleviate abdominal pain. This may be largely unnecessary, since doing just a little spiritual energy can clear up most of these problems in minutes. You will find that as you practice spiritual energy, your body will naturally detoxify and clear your pathogenic or evil energy. There are many ways that spiritual energy practice improves digestion. Abdominal breathing, for one, massages the internal organs and brings more circulation to the lower abdomen. 
as the diaphragm descends on inhalation, it squeezes the stale blood, bile and other stagnant fluids from the liver and other organs, and when the pressure is released on exhalation as the diaphragm ascends, fresh blood rushes into the organs and replenishes them with oxygen and nutrients. During this process, the muscles involved in peristalsis are also stimulated. In addition, spiritual energy stimulates the salivary glands and gastric enzymes. Just 15 minutes of practice has been shown to produce a major elevation in the secretion of pepsin, one of the most important digestive enzymes in saliva. In fact, we frequently teach students how to swallow their saliva. Because digestion starts in the mouth, increased production of saliva helps break down the food before it even gets to the gut. This way the organs have less work to do and are able to pull more nutrients out of your food. What's important to remember is that eating is for energy, the better your digestion the more energy you will get. From your meals. Many digestive problems have a strong psychological component. Stress or other emotional issues can cause bloating, constipation, or loose bowels. Because spiritual energy effectively reduces stress and helps your body to manage its stresses differently, it helps to protect the digestive system from stress-related problems. Acid indigestion has become such a common condition in the West that many people never leave the house without a pocket full of antacid remedies. Among the most important preventive health care benefits of spiritual energy is the way it immediately balances the pH level of the blood, digestive juices, and other bodily fluids. Balanced pH is one of the most important aspects of yin-slash-yang balance in human health. Breath The bridge between your mind and body The benefits of working with the breath are profound. The way you breathe directly influences the quality of your life. In fact, the way you breathe might be the most important factor in how you feel. When someone is feeling good, the breath is calm, deep, and even. The amazing thing about breathing exercises is that the relationship also works in the reverse, by changing the way you breathe, you can also change the way you feel. If you breathe deeply, down into the abdomen, this sends a message to the body to transform negative emotions into positive ones. Deep breathing moves energy and clears stagnant energy. It is almost impossible to breathe deeply and feel negative emotions at the same time. Spiritual energy recognizes this connection between the body and the emotions and prompts us to change the body our posture and breathing in order to transform our mental slash emotional states. Some years ago, there was a great study done on depression. One group took antidepressant drugs, the other group simply had to look up, smile, and breathe deeply periodically throughout the day. Surprisingly, the group that worked on their posture while incorporating the deep breathing had even better results than the group on drugs. The way we hold our body powerfully affects how we feel. If you want to feel better, breathe more deeply and smile more. Remember that breathing is a reflection of thought and emotion, the bridge between the mind and the body. Breath unleashes the vital energies of life. Inhale fully to be inspired and take in more of life, exhale completely to get rid of what is old and no longer useful. This process refreshes the system in every moment, clearing out stagnant emotions and thoughts and taking in the new possibilities with each breath. If we cannot inhale completely, we cut ourselves off from new experiences, adventure, and creativity. If we cannot exhale completely, we hold on to the past and are weighed down by old emotional hurts and wounds. To breathe is to be alive. To breathe more deeply is to delve into life more fully. Think of your breath as vitamin O, oxygen being the most important nutrient that you take into your body. Oxygen is our most essential food. The fuel that ignites the essential bodily processes everything from digestion and assimilation to hormone secretion and numerous brain functions. Deep breathing where deep breathing enlivens and revitalizes every cell and tissue in the body, chronic shallow breathing drains our energy and allows stress to take root. It under-oxygenates the blood, the organs, the muscles, the glands, and all the cells in the body. It overworks the heart, suffocates the brain. 15 to 20 percent of our oxygen goes to the brain, weakens the immune system, and leads to disease and premature aging. Under-oxygenation also leaves toxins in the blood that are then recirculated through the body. 
Many catastrophic illnesses have their roots in chronic under-oxygenation caused by chronic shallow breathing. In fact, medical researchers believe a lack of oxygen in the system is the prime cause of 1.5 million heart attacks each year. Dr. Otto Warburg, winner of two Nobel Prizes for Cancer Research, explains that cancer has only one prime cause, which is the replacement of normal oxygen restoration for the body's cells by oxygen-deficient respiration. Deep breathing increases oxygen to the cells, which is one of the most important factors in living a disease-free and energetic life. He goes on to say, where cells get enough oxygen, cancer will not, cannot, occur. The Benefits of Deep Breathing Energizes the entire system provides cells with sufficient oxygen for optimal functioning clears stress and tension from the muscles supports the lymphatic system for cleansing the blood detoxifies the blood massages the internal organs for better functioning increases our lung capacity for more. Energy calms the mind facilitates communication between the conscious and unconscious mind acts as a bridge between the mind, body and spirit for balance, harmony and spiritual growth promotes health and healing increases communication between the left and right hemispheres of the brain, by stimulating both sides at the same time. Helps to harmonize the nervous system and reduce stress increases our fundamental vitality deepens meditation expands consciousness. Mouth breathing versus nose breathing There is a saying that the mouth is for eating, the nose, for breathing. This seems fairly intuitive yet the majority of us are sucking air in through our mouths much of the time. Energetically, we are not making use of the amazing health features of the nose, which is the body's primary defense against germs, impurities, dust, and bacteria. The nose has bacilli fighting glands, mucous membrane passages, and thousands of filtering hairs to keep outside impurities from entering the lungs, the bloodstream, and the body. The mouth has none of these protective features, and allows a virtually undefended passage directly into the lungs. When we breathe through the mouth, there is a tendency to fill up the chest only. When you inhale through the nose, on the other hand, your breath naturally penetrates the body more deeply. Try taking a deep breath through your mouth and notice where you feel the expansion. Now, take a slow deep breath through your nose. Did you notice how your breath is drawn more deeply into your body? expanding into your lower abdomen? Breathing through the nose uses the diaphragm, which is the most natural, healthy way to breathe. Watch the way babies breathe, their abdomens and rib cages naturally expand and contract. The proper functioning of every cell in our body depends upon the quality of our breathing. Breathing is the dance of life, uniting all living things in a necessary symbiotic life support system. We live on. The exhaled oxygen of plants, and plants live on our exhaled carbon dioxide, every breath reveals interdependence with the environment. We live in an ocean of energy from which life offers each of us a full portion of vitality. Why decline this abundance of life force through shallow breathing? Why breathe just enough to get by? When you can breathe deeply enough to truly thrive. Though the lungs have a total air capacity of about 5,000 milliliters, the average breath is only about 500 milliliters. With the proper breathing techniques, we can learn to increase our breathing capacity, taking in twice the amount of energy per breath. Magic breathing the wave technique Think of the tide of the ocean lapping up onto the shore. The water rolls in, pauses, then returns to the ocean. Between the incoming and outgoing tide there is a lull a stillness before movement. This is how we should breathe, mirroring. The movement of the tide. As you will soon experience, the movement of the breath can flow through the entire torso like a wave in the ocean. It starts in the lower abdomen, then rises up through the ribs, and crests in the chest. Upon exhalation, the wave of movement descends from the chest, through the ribs, and down into the abdomen. Try it for yourself. 1. Find a comfortable position either sitting up with a straight spine or lying face up on a comfortable surface. Sitting is preferable and keeps you more alert, but lying down works well too. 2. Bring your right hand over your navel and place your left hand on your sternum at the center of your chest. 3. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Feel your lower abdomen expand first. 4. 
as you continue to inhale, let the breath rise up through your ribs. 5. Keep inhaling until the breath reaches your chest, beneath your left hand. 6. Exhale out through your nose, feel your breath relaxing and your chest descending. 7. Allow the breath to exhale outward through your ribs. 8. At the end of the exhalation, allow your abdomen to move back toward the spine as you squeeze the breath all the way out. 9. A pause in the breath is like the lull of the tide and creates balance in the mind and energy in the body. Allow the breath to pause for one or two seconds at the top of each inhalation, and again at the bottom of each exhalation. 10. Continue taking these full deep breaths for at least seven breaths. You will start to feel the benefits almost immediately. If you can do this exercise for seven minutes, it's even better. Warming up the body. The term warm up means to begin the energy and blood flow and invigorate their circulation throughout the body. Warm up exercises are particularly important for areas of the body that are rarely stretched, such as the spine and the sacrum. Even a person who does weight training and aerobics is still not properly prepared for the conduction of large amounts of energy. Without an adequate warm-up before exercise, the muscles may be stiff and tight and lack sufficient blood supply to meet the sudden demands placed on them by strenuous activity. This is one major cause of athletic injury. Simple spiritual energy can be used as a warm-up for many other Taoist activities, such as Thai energy meditation but it can also be seen as a warm-up to your everyday life. It will help you meet the day with more energy or clear stress at the end of the day. Done on its own, simple spiritual energy can effectively create healthy energy flow in the body, which benefits all aspects of life. The Wisdom of Trees Archangel Perlimiuk, the angel of nature, oversees the trees in the world, while the elves help to look after them. Trees are ancient sentient beings who were birthed on our planet from the heart of Source. They hold the codes of divine love within their essence. In addition every single tree is graced with a particular quality with which to help humans, animals, elementals, and insects. When we sit or stand within the aura of a tree, the sacred geometry of these qualities is downloaded into our aura and our frequency is raised by harmonic transference. If we open our heart to the tree, and absorb its energies, we will feel subtly different. People intuitively recognize, for example, that sturdy, solid oak trees carry strength, courage, endurance, and fortitude. You will receive these qualities if you stand under an oak tree. If, at the same time, you invoke Archangel Michael and bring his deep blue light down through the tree into yourself, this will enhance the power that comes to you from the oak tree. If you need extra strength or courage, stand in warrior pose with your heels firm and flat on the ground under an oak tree, then sense Archangel Michael's blue energy flowing into you and imagine yourself conquering the situation. If you cannot find a physical oak tree, visualize one. Trees keep records of local history, while forests are keepers of ancient wisdom. When we are ready, they will impart relevant information to us. Occasionally a special specimen that is planted alone grows into a huge and powerful being radiating such presence that it holds the entire area within its majesty and light. For example, huge cedar trees are still seen that dominate and grace an entire estate. These trees will protect and empower those within their forests. Forests are the lungs of our planet. Through photosynthesis they oxygenate the world. Oxygen is the element that carries the light of source throughout the universes. The glory of the great divine plan ensures that every sentient being breathes in oxygen, even fish, who extract it from water through their gills. Every breath that we take brings source light directly into our cells. At the same time, the very air contains droplets of water carrying divine love. So when we breathe fully, we take in source love and light. The more deeply we breathe, the calmer and more connected we feel. Babies, who are still linked to source. Automatically take in huge slow breaths. Walking in forests helps us to regenerate and heal because we are renewing our connection with source. Trees, especially pine trees, bring us into the fifth dimension if we are ready. 
Forests also draw in and store light from other star systems or planets. For example, the Black Forest in Germany is connected to Jupiter and its ascended aspect, Jumbe. Here are held many keys for future healing and ways of Balancing people, animals, and the planet Currently allopathic medicine has a purpose, because deeply entrenched karma has meant that imbalances in our body have become extreme. When we step off the wheel of karma, we will return to the naturally provided methods of healing that keep our systems in Balance Many of these are provided by trees. Many forests in South America are connected to Venus and are holding higher codes of love to enable the natural world to live in unimaginable harmony and joy. The world is changing and rising in frequency very quickly. The divine plan includes Australia being referenced as soon as this continent learns to control the climate and command the rainfall. These yet-to-be-planted forests will draw in huge amounts of knowledge about spiritual technology and wisdom to enable Australia to help the whole world. Because so many trees are currently being felled all over the planet, those that are left are having to work very hard. They sometimes feel tired and unappreciated. When you send them love, it strengthens them and enhances their ability to pour out unconditional love visualization to connect to trees you can do this exercise under a physical tree or visualize it either way you are tuning into the energy of trees one prepare a space where you can be relaxed and undisturbed light a candle if you can Two. sit quietly and breathe comfortably with the intention of connecting to the tree kingdom three Ground yourself by visualizing roots going from your feet deep into the earth. 4. Ask Archangel Michael to place his deep blue cloak of protection around you. 5. Be aware of a shimmering blue-green glow around you as Archangel Perlimiac enfolds you in his wings of light. Relax into them. 6. He takes you to a tree. It may be enormous or tiny, but you are aware it has something to offer you. Seven. Open your heart and tune into your tree. Sense its aura. 8. As you sit or stand under it, the sacred geometry within its energy fields is enhancing your own fields. Relax and allow this to happen. 9. What qualities is the tree offering you? Sense these lighting up within you. 10. The tree may have a direct message for you. Accept it, consciously or unconsciously. 11. You may be aware of an elf sitting on the branch of the tree watching you. 12. Thank him for being there and enjoy the connection. 13. Thank the tree and Archangel Perlimiac.